Hello to my beautiful friends and welcome to a new video. Today I wanted to talk about Animal Crossing villagers. We have over 300 of them now and every single one of you have at least one favorite or more. It's really hard not to with how adorable and unique each one is. But what about the opposite? Are there any residents that you dislike that you cannot stand having in your town? Are there any so horrible that you'd reset a save file or go back in time just to make them go away? Let me preface this video with a good old YouTube disclosure. This list is only my opinion. There is a 99% chance that I will mention a villager that you kind of like or maybe even love, and I'm not here to make anybody feel upset or sad. If your opinions differ from mine, or you think mine just suck, then let me know in the comments below. Now, let's get on with it. I hereby happily accept my Weenie Hut Junior Award because I am scared of clowns. There is something very unsettling about a person with a bright red nose and a never ceasing smile. This fear is actually not uncommon either with a lot of people sharing it. It has legitimate origins too, like in 1981 in Massachusetts when kids claimed clowns were trying to lure them into vans. There was John Wayne Gacy, a serial killer who loved dressing as Patches the Clown. Basically, clowns can be very creepy, and so is Pietro the sheep. He's colorful and happy, and his wool is full of evil secrets. And yeah, my only reason for disliking him is because he's a clown. His name Pietro also could have a creepy origin. There once was a famous Italian playwright named Pietro Aretino, who was said to have died because he laughed too hard. Another clown villager, Marcel the dog, gets a pass from me though. His home is very Asian-inspired, so his makeup reminds me more of kabuki theater than a clown, and he's kinda cute. But Pietro, no. No, not Pietro. Chow is a very unfortunate looking panda. I don't know what was going on when they designed him, but let me break it down. He looks like he's hairless, but not in a cute sphinx cat kind of way, but more like he looks kind of sunburned and sticky. His eyes are these beady little lines and his range of facial expressions is very weird. When I was researching him online, I also found out his portrait phrases are pretty ominous. In Wild World, he says, Remember, I'm always watching you. And New Leaf, it's all good things must come to an end. Wow, Chow, what's gonna happen? What are you going to do? Let me tell you about my childhood. I was a very sheltered little kid. I wasn't allowed to watch horror movies or worship the devil like some of you cool kids could. I was so protected that I had to find very harmless things to be scared of using my imagination. And one of those was Mr. Bean. There was something so sinister and scary about his exaggerated facial expressions, his sounds, his strange movements, it all made me really uncomfortable. And then, along came a villager that to me looked just like him. Meet Anchovy. He has the same thick brows and beady eyes, and even his beak reminds me of his nose. The white half of his face and his brown coloration are even similar to Mr. Bean's suit. As a kid, I just, I couldn't unsee it, you guys. Anytime I saw him, I thought of Mr. Bean. I'm sure that Anchovy is a really nice bird, and I'm sure that the actor who plays Mr. Bean is a super nice guy, but because of my childhood fear, I just can't be around either of them. This next villager is not disliked because of what he looks like or how he acts, but rather what he stands for, Drago the Alligator. He's adorable and smiley, and to be honest, I would love to have him live in my town. He uses the same base model as the other gator villagers, but he has frilled flaps on the sides of his face and two large horns on his head. He wears a dragon shirt when you first meet him. His problem is that he looks like a dragon, but he isn't one. What this suggests to me is that dragons as a species type will never be an Animal Crossing. Drago is the closest we will ever get to them. One of his phrases is, there's no room for two dragons in one pond. Julian the horse, who is basically a unicorn, is kind of the same thing, a representation of a species we may never see expanded. I do understand that Animal Crossing wants to stick to actual animals, so I'm not really complaining that much, but I really, really like dragons, and I hope someday we get to see maybe just a few more. When I was trying to make this list, I decided I wanted to be more creative and not just list animals that I didn't think were cute. 
I know I did a little bit of that, but I tried to think outside the box as much as I could. Honestly, I also want to know what villagers you guys dislike. Can you tell me why you dislike them? Since Animal Crossing is all about personal experiences, it means that no answer can be completely wrong, and you're allowed to be unique. I know that this game focuses a lot on the positives and being happy and all the wonderful aspects of life, but it's okay to think a little negatively now and then. I think it's healthy. Regardless of who we get on our New Horizons islands, let's power through it and make everybody our friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.